Hi, this is Jenny Casson. I'm an attorney and coach supporting entrepreneurs with raising money for their businesses. And I've been doing this since 2006. And part of my way of making sure I do a really good job of this is to raise money myself. Um, I'm on my fifth time raising money for various projects. The first time I raised money was back in 2010. Um, and I'm currently raising money. This is my biggest raise ever. I've raised almost $2 million. Um, and to be honest with you, I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> it, it hasn't been an overnight thing raising that much money. Um, but I want to start to share a little bit about what I've learned as I've been really pushing my own limits in terms of how much I can raise. Um, and how much an individual investor can put in. So the first time I raised money, the minimum investment was $1,000. Uh, that was back in 2010. And I wasn't super nervous about, well, honestly, I was super nervous at first, but I realized like, it's not that scary to ask someone for $1,000. That's not that much money, you know? So I kind of got over my fears about raising money when the amount was that small. But now that I'm raising a larger amount, I can't have such a low minimum <laughs> or it would never happen or it would take like 50 years. So um, I now have to kind of really, you know, get comfortable with asking for larger amounts. And it's brought up all kinds of fears for me, all kinds of, you know, limiting beliefs about like, oh my God, that's so much money, you know. But I've really learned over time how to kind of redefine what is quote unquote a lot of money. Because for each person, a lot of money is going to be totally different. And it doesn't always depend on how actually wealthy they are. There are very, very wealthy people who would think a $1,000 investment is a lot of money because they're very scared of, they have a belief of scarcity. They want to hold on to what they have, even though objectively we would say they're very wealthy. And then there are people who don't objectively have a ton of money, but they're very, they feel very comfortable, uh, you know, using their money for things that they're passionate about and they're not scared to put in significant amounts. So anyway, I just wanted to share one tip that it seems kind of obvious, but I, it makes a huge difference. I would say it's the number one game changer. Um, so when you're talking to a potential investor, and I will, um, if you know my work at all, you know that I define a potential investor very broadly. A potential investor could be anybody. Now, I will say there are some laws regulating who and how you're allowed to ask for money, and I have other videos on that topic. But assuming that you're in compliance with the securities laws, when you're talking to a potential investor, you have to do one thing. <laughs> you have one job, and that is to actually ask them to invest. Um, I Again, I know it sounds obvious, but so many people don't do that. They'll have a really long conversation. They'll talk about what they're doing, and then they'll just end the call. Or maybe they'll say, do you know anyone who might be interested? Instead of saying, would you be interested in investing? Um, those are hard words to say for a lot of us. I know I have a lot of fear around it. I, I've had many conversations with investors where I just, I somehow couldn't get the words out or I made some excuse to myself like, oh, I don't think they're a fit, so I'm not going to ask. But it's absolutely the case that if you, the more people you ask, the more money you're going to raise and the more quickly you're going to reach your goal. So try to ask everybody, try to get really comfortable getting those words out of your mouth. Would you like to invest? So I hope this is helpful. I will share a lot more tips on, um, you know, how to get comfortable with that, how to ask, what to show people when you're asking, et cetera, et cetera. But, but really, if you can just do that one thing and learn how to get comfortable with that and practice, um, you will raise a lot more money a lot more quickly.